excited to tell you about. And it's a service we've been working on, a service called iWork.com. Now this is a really, really cool idea. And we're going to be announcing the beta of this so customers can get involved with us and try it out and help us make it really great. So what is iWork.com? iWork.com is a new service for you to share your iWork documents with other people. You can easily upload your documents into iWork.com and notify other people that you've invited them to collaborate on the documents you're working on. And those people that you've shared it with can view the documents online. Simply go into the browser and see the documents and review, review them. They can add comments to the documents, they can add notes, and you see all those back as you look at them online as well. And probably one of the most powerful features is you can download a copy, and they can download a copy in multiple formats automatically via iWork.com. So you don't have to just copy and paste your, your documents into emails and send them to different people, and sometimes they can be large files and hard to get through email systems. They just go to iWork.com where you've shared the document and download it themselves whenever they need it. Now, this is a really exciting new service, so I'm, I'm proud to be the first to show you how it works and what it looks like. So first, I'm at my Mac, and I'm going to launch a document in the brand new Pages 09. So this is a document you can imagine in my spare time, I'm a rocket scientist, and I've been studying exploration in space. And I can look through my document, and yeah, I think it's really good now. I'd like to get some other people giving me some feedback on it, so I want to share it with some others. To do that, I'm going to use iWork.com. And there's a button now in the top of the new iWork applications, Pages, Numbers, and Keynote, just says iWork.com, and I'm going to click on it, and I've set up my account in iWork.com. I'm going to send a note to someone that I'm sharing this with. So all I have to do is type in their email. It sees my address book, so it knows when I start to type in Tia who that is. I'm going to type in a subject. Please check this out. Thanks for reviewing it. So I'm going to send this to Tia. I'm going to click Share. And now what Pages is doing is creating the different formatted versions of, of this document and sending them up to iWork.com all automatically, and it's done. Okay, I've done it. It's sent off a notification to Tia, it's up there in iWork.com, and that's it. It's that simple. So what's it like on the, on the viewing side? What, what does Tia see? Well, I'm going to switch computers up here. And now I'm on another computer. And I'm, let me just log in. This is Tia's computer. Different desktop, you can tell that's Tia. And next time Tia's in her email, what Tia's going to see is a new message from me. The, the message I just sent, please check this out, tells Tia that she's been invited to view this document, the Phoenix Mission Report on iWork.com. Tia simply clicks View Document, and that launches Tia's browser. And again, th this is amazing. This can be a Mac or a PC running any of the popular browsers. Uh, Safari, I think the coolest browser, or Firefox, or IE, or whatever Tia uses. And this is what Tia sees. Tia sees the document. When you have to stop for a second and look at this, because it looks like pages, but I'm actually on iWork.com. Tia can read the document, go through the different pages. Tia can decide to well, leave a note to me on a section, maybe select this point where it says the friction causes the spacecraft to heat up to about 2,600 degrees Fahrenheit, add a comment. What's this in Celsius? So Tia can leave notes back to me. And there can be multiple people viewing the document, and they can leave notes to each other about the entire document. So on the right-hand side, Tia can say, I've reviewed it. It looks great. And post that note for all of us to see. And most, most importantly, on the right-hand side is this download button. So Tia can now click that button, and if Tia wanted to edit it herself, she could open it up in Pages, if she has Pages 09, or as a, read it as a PDF file, or even as a Microsoft Word file. So you're now sharing documents with other people who don't have iWork, but they can all open and view the documents too. So it's a really great way to share these documents around. So that's what Tia gets to do. Let me go back to my computer. So here I am back on my Mac, and I want to see the different comments coming in and communicate with those people. Well, I'm in Pages. And under the Share menu, there's a new item there that says 
show shared documents. I'm going to click on that. It's going to take me in my browser to iWork.com to see the same shared document. So now we're all looking online at that shared document. And right here is a list. I have more than one shared document, so I'm going to see all the documents I'm sharing. The top one is the newest one, the Phoenix Mission Report, and there's a blue dot next to it telling me there's a new note there that I need to read. So here I am. I'm online seeing the same document Tia's seeing. I see an orange tab on a page telling me there's a new note there. And there's Tia's note. And I can reply right in the note. I can write back in the document-wide notes. It's all right here for us to collaborate together. Let me go back to my shared documents list. So I have pages document, keynote documents, numbers documents, as many as I want. I can share here on iWork.com. So for example, let me click this keynote document. And there's a keynote presentation that I've shared online via iWork.com. Beautifully rendered, just the same way it is in my own uh, version of Keynote. And I see all the notes from the different people. We have four other people viewing this online and sharing notes together. So that's what it's like using iWork.com, a great online service for sharing and collaborating on documents. Now this is the beginning of a new service. It's something that we're going to find out together all the great things we can do. Customers can sign up free for the beta. In the end, it'll be a fee-based service, but for now it's a free beta to collaborate with us. There's a place where customers can send in their comments and tell us how it's working and ideas they have for how it should do it, how it should work. And, um, and I think there's things that we haven't even discovered that will be really powerful. For example, this is a lot easier way for me to send you a document rather than trying to send big files through email. It's also a great way if I want to get to documents anywhere in the world. I can put some of my important documents there, and I can go up to any computer, go in the browser, and get access to those documents wherever I need them without even taking my computer with me. So a lot of really powerful ideas in this new iWork.com service. So again, it's a beta, and it launches today. And as a publisher, you get to it via the new iWork uh, 09 applications that started shipping today. So that's the second thing, iWork, in addition to iLife, that I want to talk to you about today. One more thing, the third thing, and number three is the new 17-inch MacBook Pro. Yeah. Last year was a big year for notebooks at Apple. We introduced some incredible new products. We started the year with the MacBook Air, the thinnest notebook in the world, and to that, later we added the 13-inch MacBook and the 15-inch MacBook Pro. All of these based on this incredible new architecture called the Precision Unibody Enclosure. And that simply meant we came out with a better way to make a notebook that makes it sturdier, thinner, lighter, more beautiful. And it's worked incredibly well. People really love them. Our customers love them, and the reviews have been fantastic. Ed Bega of the USA Today said, Apple's fashioned a winner with a new MacBook. David Pogue of the New York Times, Apple's MacBook is a thing of beauty. And Walt Mossberg of the Wall Street Journal, Apple's new MacBook is a terrific choice for consumers and students. And I'm really proud to tell you, for the last eight months running, if you look at a list of all the notebook products sold in the United States, a MacBook has been number one on that list every month. <laughs> so these products are great. The new 13-inch MacBook and the 15-inch MacBook Pro. And I'm really proud to be the first to show you the new high end of our line, the 17-inch MacBook Pro. It's absolutely stunning. It's super thin, 0.98 inches thin. That's the world's thinnest 17-inch notebook. At 6.6 .6 pounds, it's also the world's lightest 17-inch notebook. And it's simply stunning. It's got a beautiful 17-inch LED backlit display that's high resolution. 1920 by 1200, and this is the best display we've ever shipped in a notebook. It's got a wide viewing angle, 140 by 120, high contrast ratio, and displays the most amount of colors we've ever displayed on a notebook display, 60% greater color gamut than the previous 17-inch notebook display. As you know, our dis notebook displays have this beautiful glossy finish on them, really helps get dark, dark blacks and great color contrast. But some of our highest end customers would really rather not have a glossy panel on the front, so we've also created for the first time with a 17 inch an anti-glare option. So I told you there are a few of them, a few of them out there. 
And really, the only way we could do this was to remove that glass in the 